All right, Shalom, Shalom. We are the real Hebrew Israelites coming day in and day out, prophesied downfall of Babylon the Great, which is America. First off and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Makarkadash. Double honors to the other apostles, a great millstone, and salutations to the elect, wherever you may be. Brother Shapaya from GMS Chicago coming at you again with a lesson through the Spirit. Um, through the Spirit, I had a, I had a topic. Um, but the Lord switched it up and just told me, you know, go into Timothy and break it down chapter by chapter. And then later do the lesson, you know, the Spirit put on my spirit to do. So First Timothy chapter 1, verse 1. Paul, an apostle of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, by the commandment and power of our Savior and Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, which is our hope, unto Timothy, my son in the faith, grace, mercy, and peace be unto you from the power of our Father, and Yahweh Shai Mashiach Adawan. All right? Um, so within this truth, you have men that raise you up through the Spirit, which are your spiritual parents, uh, your spiritual fathers and mothers, if you will. All right? They're called elders. Verse 3. As I besought thee to abide still at Ephesus, when I went into Macedonia, that thou mightest charge some that they teach no other doctrine, which is the same order our elders give us. Okay? Neither less give heed to fables and endless genealogies which minister questions rather than godly edifying, which is a faith. All right? So it says don't give heed to all these bullshit doctrines and endless genealogies and things of that nature because it's more questions than edification. If you're going to do anything, let it be done into edification. All right? Now, the end of the commandment is charity out of a pure heart and of a good conscience and a faith unfeigned, all right? Which, that's plain. From which some having swerved, so like it, from which some having swerved have turned aside to vain jangling. Now, let's, let's go into the blue letter. And let's get this word jangling. Logia, vain talking, empty talk, all right? So words that mean nothing, all right? False doctrines included, okay? This, and here it goes, for the further explaining. Desiring to be teachers of the law, understand they're neither what they say nor what they affirm. And like uh, uh, Peter says, uh, he quotes well, he, 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 he speaks of Paul uh, talking about his, uh, well, saying his writings are sometimes uh, hard to be understood. But to them, that's unlearned. They rest, uh, wrestle with it until their own destruction. So these are the same guys, the same guys that's written in Jude, the uh, first chapter. All right. Uh, but we know the law is good. If a man use it lawfully, knowing this, that the law is not made for the righteous man, but for the law, the lawless and the disobedient, for the ungodly and for the sinners, for the unholy and the profane, for murderers of fathers and murderers of mothers, for manslayers, for whoremongers, for them that defile themselves with mankind, for man stillers, for liars, for perjury persons. And if there be any other thing that's contrary to sound doctrine, right? Which some of these uh, 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 some of these characteristics some of us used to have, you know. But guess what? We got the law and we corrected ourselves through the Spirit. All right. According to the glorious gospel of the blessed power which was committed to my trust, I thank Mashiach Yahweh Shai Adawan. Who have enabled me for that he counted me faithful, putting me into this ministry. And that's what Yahweh Shai does. He he enables you in this ministry. All right. We we didn't choose Yahweh Shai. All right. The Lord cho chose us. As a matter of fact, Yahweh chose us and gave us to Yahweh Shai. Okay? So this this is indeed a 
great office to be in. And y'all wrap this out, we endure to the end. Verse 13, who was before a blasphemer and a persecutor and injurious. All right, so Paul is talking about himself. You know, I he used to be this way. But I obtained mercy because I did it ignorantly in unbelief. And, and that's the thing. Before we came into this truth, a lot of things we were just doing ignorantly. But now that we know better, do better. All right? We shouldn't be out here willfully sinning, right? Verse 14, for the grace of the Lord was exceedingly about, uh, abundant with faith and love, which is of Mashiach Yahushai. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all except, uh, exception. That Mashiach Yahushai came to the world to save sinners of whom I am chief. Now, this is Paul. Paul, a doctor of the law, said whom of all sinners I am chief. So if this is Paul, how much more us? All right. How much more us? How be it for this cause I obtain mercy and in my first um, Salakia that in me first Yahushua Mashiach, Mashiach might show forth all long suffering for a pattern of them which shall hereafter believe on him to uh, life everlasting. Now to the king eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise power, be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. This charge I commit unto thee, son Timothy, according to the prophecies which went before on thee, that thou mightest, Salakia, that thou by them mightest wage a good warfare. And that's and this is how our elders deal with us. All right. So by these prophecies, what it says, that thou by them mightest wage a good warfare. What else did he tell Timothy? Fight the good fight. All right, endure hard, uh, hardness is a good soldier, uh, a, so, a soldier, finish thy course, right? Holding faith and a good conscience, which some have put away concerning faith, have made shipwreck. And that's what happens in this thing. All right, as Paul said in the earlier verses, you know, when they turn into vain jangling, a lot of these guys lose faith. All right. A lot of these guys just simply lose faith, faith. Of whom is Hymaeus and Alexander, whom I have delivered into Satan, that they may learn not to blaspheme. And that's very heavy because that happens. All right. The spirit, we've delivered people into Satan because they was just going to fuck off, blaspheming uh, of the spirit and the doctrine. All right. And where do you see these guys today? Not in the truth, not doing the work. They scoff for a little bit. Now they ain't there. Those are examples of who not to be. Or how not to fucking act. Okay? Okay, so with that, I pray this is edifying. Shalom.